three strangers, some very hard life trials, a rocket launch, they all come together in this fun, unique film called A Great Lamp. It is a narrative length feature film at the Slam Dance Film Festival. And joining me on the couch are Saad Qureshi, who is the director, Max Wilde, an actor in the film, Stephen Meyer, also an actor, and Donald Monroe, cinematographer. Welcome to Park City Television. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, I watched this film, I was intrigued. It's really, really well done, and I felt like it had a lot to say. So I'm gonna let you guys talk all about it. But I want to ask you first, Saad, give, give us an overview about the film and how did you all come together to create A Great Lamp? So A Great Lamp is a movie that we made because in 2017 we were all very miserable and we thought that the best way to be not miserable is to hang out and the best way to hang out was to make a movie <laughs> and we had no money. And so that's how we started. Uh, so the film really just follows like our actual lives. Max plays Max. Uh, Steven kind of plays myself in the character in the, in the movie and it follows you know these two kind of homeless lost vagabonds who can't go home as Max tries to hang up posters of their dead grandma in town to make sure the world kind of doesn't forget her when he meets uh, Spencer who plays Howie who's in town for like a rocket launch some fabled rocket launch that is in town and they tag team together and kind of become friends and it follows just the thematic the theme of friendship and all that good stuff, but <laughs> really just about hanging out and trying to survive daily life. You know? I believe we have a trailer of the film. We had a trailer? Oh, nice. I believe so. <laughs> wow. See if, yep, we do. Let's take a look. <laughs> Give this, ah, this one a listen. What is it? Put it to your ear, turn it three times, and give it a listen. I wish my mom was financially stable. What the hell is this? It's a wish. How do you do that? You spin it three times and then you listen. Give me another one. Yeah? I think you're gonna like this one. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you get the weirdest wishes. I, I wish uh, upon this penny that somebody would come to our house and hear my wife sing. <laughs> I like this. Isn't that one good? I want to go. I think we should. So a really unique film. I'm actually going to turn to Donald for just a moment, not to forget about Stephen and Max, but okay. just from that clip, you can see. I'm curious about how, why you decided to film it. First, black and white, very stark. I liked the transitions. They're kind of animated, a little scratchy. Um, just filmed in a very lonely way. Tell me more about that. Uh, well, um, Saad called me and wanted to make a movie and I knew that I was gonna have to do it by myself. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I knew that I wasn't gonna have any help, so I wasn't gonna have any control over anything. And I figured by making it in black and white, it would be easier. Uh, Is it easier it though? Yes. It is. <laughs> because I don't believe you. It's what, uh, I feel like it would be harder because the lighting. The well, color just you know having no control over the like the color temperature of the lights and like you know, just not having really lights in general. Taking color out of the equation make everything way easier. Okay, dare I say it was easier for you? I don't think everyone, every <laughs> cinematographer would say that black and white is We're easier. We're gonna get hate mail. But, <laughs> <laughs> We're all geniuses. <laughs> but absolutely, it was just so well done, and it really lends well <clears throat> to the story and to the characters. So let's turn to Max and Steven. Max, how much of this is your own life? It's all my own life. There's a lot of people who can't see this movie because I talk about them in it, and <laughs> because they know me, and it's true, and it's kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, all of it, it's really awkward. Also, I don't usually act, so I pretty much just had to pretend it was a documentary. So did your grandmother <laughs> pass away? Yeah. And those, that, the flyers, you're posting flyers in the film. Yeah. Those are real flyers about her life? Yeah, and those are pictures of her. And that was a way to remember her? Yeah. That's, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Is it hard watching it back? Um, I was the editor, too. Okay. So I watched this a million times. <laughs> I could recite the whole thing right now. Uh, yeah. So no, not anymore. It's you. Yeah. I, I think that's, I love it. So Steven, what about you? Yeah. You were acting. Yes. Tell me about your character quickly. So I play Gene, who um, is an unemployed loner who used to work in an insurance agency that uh, his father 
uh, helped him uh, land that job, and he quit the job before the movie starts. And so every day, um, so his father won't know that he quits, he uh, leaves the house, stays out all day, and then comes back at night. Um, and in the film, you just kind of watch me uh, go about my day. And um, it's, it's loosely based on Saad's life. Um, and you know, so that, that really meant a lot to me, you know, to honor Saad's story. Um, and yeah. yeah, you did a wonderful job. It was like he, the character was very afraid of being authentic, but then throughout the journey of the film, not to give too much away, he kind of finds himself with this rocket launch and these relationships he creates. Yeah. Yeah, really spectacular film. I love how it was said that you can see in the film that lives change, and in a sense they're saved, but they were f saved both on it and off screen. Maybe one of you tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, like, we were all very, we were all miserable in our own way, and the movie was like a vehicle to be happy. And so while we were filming the movie over 10 days with no money and just hanging out, we were like really happy. It wasn't like a job like most filmmaking is. It was a vacation. It was like the best time of our lives. Nice. And making the film really, I mean, we all quit our jobs to make it, you know? And making it saved us in a way. It gave us like purpose. It gave us like happiness. It reminded us that we have friends. And we realized as we made it that the answer to being happier in life isn't these big defining moments like rockets and whatever. It's just hanging out with your friends. And that's why the film became about that thematically, just naturally as we made it. Uh, and so I think that the movie will also spread that around. So ultimately the message is stop watching movies, go outside and hang out with your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, I, we could, I wish we had more time to talk more about it. It's a great film. Congratulations, you guys. It just did a wonderful Thank job. You. Thanks, and, it was easy. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So check it out. A Great Lamp is that slam dance. I think they're being humble. <laughs> you got to check it out. It'll save your life and theirs. All right. Much more coming back on What's Real. Tonight is six.